Hi, this is Ralph Turchana once again here to review with you, at least in our opinion, was the top three health headlines over the past seven days. All right, first off, we're going to start with new study shows aged garlic can reduce dangerous plaque buildup in the arteries. To quote the study, we have completed four randomized studies and they have led us to conclude that aged garlic extract, aged garlic, can help slow the progression of arterial sclerosis and reverse the early stages of heart disease. Their participants were given either a placebo or a dose of 2,400 milligrams of aged garlic extract every day. And in their words, they said, again, can it actually help reverse the early stages of heart disease? Pretty strong bonus for aged garlic. Following that, omega-3 levels affect whether B vitamins can slow brains decline. Now, this is kind of interesting because obviously there's been positive and negative regard to B vitamins and uh, mild cognitive impairment. However, there was a caveat to that and they discovered. We previously found that B vitamins are able to slow or prevent the atrophy of the brain and memory decline in people with MCI, mild cognitive impairment. They said this is what happened. We found that for people with low levels of omega-3, the vitamin supplements had little to no effect. But for those with high baseline omega-3 levels, the good fats, the B vitamins were very effective in preventing cognitive decline compared to placebo. So out of the omega-3s, they wanted you to pay particular attention to DHA. But B vitamins require good fats to have a positive effect in regard to mild cognitive impairment. Following that, chickenpox shingles vaccine may cause corneal inflammation in some patients. To quote from the study, for patients who have had a history of keratitis, we recommend they talk to the primary care physician before getting vaccinated. If these individuals are vaccinated, they should be closely monitored to ensure they don't experience corneal inflammation or additional scarring. Now, the basically symptoms begin to appear as follows. For adults, symptoms of keratitis develop within 24 days of vaccination. For pediatric patients, symptoms of inflammation develop within 14 days. Something to talk about in regard to your health care provider. These are the top three health headlines over the past seven days. And thank you very much for listening. Catch you next time.